I have law firm of Kaforian McDougall and also representing the Oregon Progressive Party. Um, I think you need to reverse the questions that you're asking to, to us and ask yourselves the question of what's the harm in having this hearing with the judge every year where he has the power to ask questions. And an appeal, I mean, everyone has already said this, but an appeal can take years and years. Uh, and I don't understand why the first step wouldn't be seeking a clarification from the judge of how these hearings are going to go and what role he would have. It just doesn't make sense to go and take all the resources of the city's attorney's office and file an appeal and, and go that route without at first trying to resolve it at a lower level. That's point number one. Um, point number two is what, uh, what is the basic problem with with this appeal, and I think most of the citizens' eyes, is that it looks like the police and the police union are driving the ship in terms of policy and not the city council. And, you know, we've seen this over and over again, even when juries come together like they did a few weeks ago and rendered the largest verdict uh, for excessive force in the history of this city uh, in the Cox case, um, even you, Mayor Hales, said you disagreed with the jury. And, you know, there were a video showing six punches and four tases within, you know, a matter of seconds on that. And, and that caused a great amount of public outrage. And I think that this is not the right time for the city council to be taking a step back at all uh, in this agreement. I think it's time for us to say, let's get the judge. And I think the key will be that we'll have a better chance for the DOJ to step in as a party if things aren't being implemented, if there's a public hearing with Judge Simon where he's getting to ask questions. I think that's the reality of how it all works out.